thought I would um, take a minute and show you some of the stuff that I have been purchasing the last couple weeks. Um, the Christmas holiday kind of overwhelmed me with all of the cards that I had to do and projects that I had promised people. And uh, I kind of got into a funk where I wasn't very inspired to do much of anything. So I wanted to, I, so when that happens to me, I start buying things because usually when I get new things, I get inspired and I had packed up my entire craft room. Well, I'm going to say 70% of my craft room. I hauled it down to Arizona with me to my Arizona house and I spent, you know, six weeks there, which is why I needed my craft room with me. And I got a lot of cards done, but other than the Christmas cards, I really didn't do much of anything. And I tried, I sat down a few times and I just had kind of like brain freeze, brain block, and I just couldn't get into it. So, um, Honeybee Stamps recently had a birthday sale and, uh, I thought, you know what, I'll check it out and see if I get inspired by anything. So I have a big crafty haul to share with you. Um, one is my order from Honeybee Stamps where I think everything was 35% off that was Honeybee branded. And then uh, the last couple of days I have been doing some shopping at Michael's and Joanne Fabrics and Ben Franklin's. And um, I'm going to introduce you to my new addiction to washi tape. And I know I'm probably really late to the game on this because I swear I don't know where washi tape has been my whole life. I love it. I use it on envelopes. I use it on cards. I use it I to decorate. I just, I can't get enough of it. And you're going to see this shortly, what I mean by how quickly I have grown my stash of washi tape just in the past month or so. So um, let me get started with my first crafty haul, which is from Honeybee Stamps. And I haven't really looked at this yet. This is, um, it came in a nice box like this, corrugated. I don't know if you care about that. Cute little, cute little honeybee um, sealed with love stamp on it. And so I'm just gonna, I ordered a bunch of stuff, but I'm just gonna start pulling things out because I haven't looked at it yet. Well, there's washi tape in here. <laughs> okay, so there's my receipt and this is, thank you. Oh, isn't that cute? It's a little card you could color. You could actually make that in. I know it says thank you on the back, but who would see it? If you colored it, you could make a card into that. That's really sweet. I like that idea. Next thing. Oh, this is kind of boring. 3D foam tape. But the thing I liked about this is it's black. I usually um, use black craft foam, this kind of stuff when I have to pop things up that I need dark colors for, because I just never had any black foam squares. So I got these and these are the the thin version, which are pretty thin. They're thinner than the foam tape. So who knows if I like them or not, but that's in there. Let's see what this guy. Thank you so much. Awesome things inside. Let's get crafty. I love honeybee stamps. They're one of my favorite vendors. Okay, these are my stamps that I got. Oh, this is, I think, kind of fallish, but because it was on sale, I, I snatched it up and I got the coordinating dies to go with it. But um, I thought this was adorable and it would take up almost the full size of an A2 card. And... Um, it's, it could be for fall because they're wearing scarves and things like that, but it actually could be, you know, like here's one that says happy retirement or uh, kind people are my kind of people. So I thought it was kind of very all purpose and I liked it and I was, I'm going to have a lot of fun coloring this. So, and then I got the coordinating dies for that. So that's what was in that. Next is another package. These are smaller stamps. Aren't those cute packages? I love them. Happy Mail. I thought this would be cute for the envelopes, the backs of my envelopes. And then somebody, 
I don't remember his name. Andre, I think. I think he's Italian um, on his Instagram. I'll have to go find it. He made a really beautiful rainbow um, envelope Valentine's card with this stamp that he masked out and stamped across the whole envelope and did a rainbow of, of envelopes. It was really pretty. And that inspired me to get the stamp. This I thought was super cute. And I think there's a die for it. Yeah, there is a die for it right here. So this is just my type. And I thought this would be cute for Valentine's. Uh, it's got all kinds of, like you can, like this is the keyboard part of the die. These are the little hearts up here. So you can die cut all these pieces and put it together. Or you could just stamp it and color it. So there's that. Um, Santa B. Oh, this was a free, this was a free gift for, I think, purchasing so many dollars worth. Uh, which is super cute. The little dies for the stars and the bee and the Santa's little Santa hat on him. That's cute. You make me ridiculously happy. You're my person favorite. This is another Valentine's. Oh, huh. I forgot I ordered this. This goes obviously with that. And I liked that it had this thing with a die cut because I know I will use that. Sorry for the glare. Let me figure out where that glare is coming from. Well, maybe it's this one right here. I have too many lights. Nope, that's not it. It's this light right here. There, that's a little better. So that's that. And then you make me ridiculously happy, which I, I've seen this for a few times and I have wanted it and I just thought, what the heck, I'll get it. So it was 35% off. Um, but that's that. These are just some Gina K envelopes because I went through quite a few white at Christmas time and I've never tried Gina K, so I wanted to give them a shot. They've got the square flap on them, which is nice. Um, and I'm, I bet they're pretty sturdy. I'm kind of an envelope snob. I cannot stand flimsy envelopes that you can see through. So hopefully these pass the see-through test. Where's that little card I had here? Let's see. Uh-oh. Hmm. They do not pass the see-through test, but that's okay. Um, maybe if I flip this over so that the back of the card wouldn't have so much. So, yeah, I don't know if you can see that. That's actually pretty see-through. Sorry, Gina, I didn't mean to do a bad review on your envelopes, but those are too see-through for me. Um, okay, I'm glad I only got one of those. There's another bag in here. Look at these bags. Aren't they adorable? I'm just so into plaid this year. Oh, <laughs> aside from washi tape, I'm also decided to get on the sequin bandwagon. And since these were all on sale, I got a bunch. I kind of went overboard. Uh-oh, stormy sky. Oh, rain. Well, these are almost the same. Nope, they're not. So these are just drops, dew drops. They have the little bubble in the center though. You guys notice that some dew drops don't have bubbles and some do. Not sure I like that. Like these are the little ones and maybe because they're so little they don't have bubbles, but I can't see bubbles in those. Whereas there's bubbles in these, you see? I'm sure it'll be fine on a card, but um, some gold. I can't remember what I had in mind when I got the gold ones. I did have something in mind. I just forgot. I think maybe I was just trying to build my stash. Oh, and I did not order these. This says, thank you for support for your support. Please enjoy this freebie. Um, and these aren't bad. Not a color I use too much, but I bet at Halloween time they're going to be awesome. And then I like these because they're teardrop shaped. They're not circles. Well, I guess some of them are, but most of them are teardropped and they're different sizes too. So 
Now I have to figure out how am I gonna store these suckers? Um, Cause I was storing the few that I have, I just started putting in these little things, you know, the little food cups. We went to um, Costco and bought a bunch of these for a different reason. Actually, I think we we're doing jello shots with them. But anyway, they work out, They work pretty good for keeping track of your sequins, but um, then you need like a bin to put them in. So we'll see what I figure out for that. I'll let you know. Okay, the last thing in here is washi tape. And the, this was all on clearance. So I thought, what the heck? I thought some of these were pretty cool. Um, in fact, I'll tell you how much they were. Well, maybe I won't tell you. No, it doesn't have the amounts on here. Shoot, it was super cheap though. So since I'm on to washi, I'll share with you my washi story. Okay, here it goes. So keep in mind that before December, I didn't own any washi tape, except for maybe like a couple rolls that people had given me. Seriously, I had, did not own any. And so these are the ones I just got from Honeybee. I'm gonna set those aside. Today, I was at Michael's and I got these for a dollar. So I couldn't pass that up because it's holiday. Everything was on sale. And then I got these because I wanted some washi tape for birthday cards. And I thought these were cute with the balloons, party, hooray, that kind of thing. Um, these I just got from Amazon. And I love the floral. In fact, all of these that I'm going to show you in a second are from Amazon. Ugh. I can't get these open. There's not very much. This, these weren't expensive, by the way. I think this little pack right here was seven dollars, and it's some gold. Got some gold foil, but I thought it was just really pretty, good for all purpose decorating your envelopes. Like if you've got, you know, a party envelope that's pink or blue or whatever to throw some washi tape on it. Um, this stash came from Amazon also. And these are more of the floral prints and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I know I will use them. I don't even have these unwrapped yet. These just came, I think yesterday. So this is what happens when my husband goes out of town for business, I end up shopping. Um, so I'm gonna stick those in there. Uh, so that that's the that's my most recent washi tape collection. And then over Christmas, I when I was in Arizona, I ended up with all of these, and I got some really good deals on the Christmas ones at Michaels. They were sixty percent percent off, and so it's looks like a lot, but I haven't I didn't really spend a ton of money on these, and um, I've used a lot of them already. And so today, when I was at Joanne Fabrics, I think it was Joanne, no, it was Michael's. I found this, and so this is going, I'm gonna try to combine, I don't know, I figured I'd need it. I have, because my both my bins are full already, so I got this and maybe they will all fit in this, maybe not, I don't know, but I just, I wanted something where I can open up the lid and I can just see what I have instead of fishing through a bin, you know, like scrolling through the bottoms of a bin trying to see which washi tape you have. This shows it all nicely for you and you can put it in order of color scheme and the holiday and that kind of thing. So that is that. So I'll put these away tonight. Organize that maybe. I'm running out of room here. Down. Okay, next thing I have to show you is um, some paper. And one of the things that I started to get interested in the last week or so is bullet journaling. And I think it's because of the new year. Uh, I'm going to stop for a drink of wine. Hold on. I think it's because of the new year and I was trying to think of ways to get myself organized. So I watched a ton of videos on bullet journaling and then I searched for a ton of different types of journals that I thought would work for me. And 
I couldn't find one that, I mean, they're, they're expensive. They're like anywhere between 25 and $75, depending on what you want. And a lot of them had way too much stuff that I didn't want. And so I sat down and I wrote down, what do I want in a bullet journal? And I came up with, you know, like three basic things. And so then I went to Etsy and I found some templates that I thought were cute so I didn't have to recreate the wheel. And I basically am creating my own bullet journal. And I'm going to put each page of, I'm gonna basically build my own journal. Um, here's my, where did I get with it? This is, this is my very rough prototype, but it's gonna be a four by eight, sorry, four by six journal. I'm gonna bind it myself. I'm gonna sew the binding and um, I'm gonna print the pages out and glue the pages into this crafty pattern paper. But the trick is I needed paper that was double-sided and I needed it to be at least six by eight or the 12 by 12. And most of the paper pads I have are six by six, which wouldn't work and they're not double-sided. So um, in, in uh, the process of building up what I the supplies I needed to make my own bullet journal, I went shopping for papers. And so these papers are double-sided and I wanted happy, you know, bright colors. And then I wanted also maybe for seasonal. So like the first journal I'm gonna make is only gonna be for three months. It's gonna be kind of like my tester. Um, but as I get better at it and do the next three months, you know, I can tweak my individual pages that I print um, to like, as I use it for three months and I go, oh shoot, this page I don't ever use anymore, you know, or the, my notes and brainstorming page doesn't get used except for just, you know, scribble phone numbers on or something. So um, I like that I can tweak it along the way and customize it as I go. So um, I'm working on my prototype now. In fact, I have it clipped up here. It's the, this is the little mini tester that I'm doing and the binding is drying right now. Um, but these are all pattern paper pages inside. And then my bullet journal pages are gonna get laminated to each each side of the book. And then you're gonna have a, a book that'll be about three times as thick. So it'll be three sections this thick. So this this section is for one month and I'll have three months in a, in a book that will stay in my purse and be in my bullet journal. So I'm gonna give it a try. I don't know if the size is gonna be the right size either. And I may make it bigger. I may jump up to, you know, like five by seven or something, but um, it's super fun. And I'm, I actually sewed the binding on this and it was, I watched a couple different YouTube videos on how to do it. And it's not hard at all. Um, and it's not expensive to do. You, I mean, I use dental floss cause you need, you need to have some kind of a waxed thread and I didn't have any wax thread, but I saw somebody use dental floss and they said it worked great. So I used dental floss to sew this book together and then you glue the binding and then after it dries, you put the cover on, which is the, the chipboard cover that um, I think I did a tutorial on it. When I make the little journals, you basically do the same thing. Or if you didn't want to do chipboard, you can do fabric. So, but hold on, let me get back to this. So these are all gonna be pages that I will use to insert into my bullet journal. And I just like that they're all a variety. I'm not gonna get fussy with the order of it. I'm gonna be kind of random and I just want it to be colorful. I want it to be bright and and make me happy and make me wanna open the book and write in it. So that's kind of my intent. So that's this. And by the way, these came from Joanne Fabrics and they were $6 a piece, but I got buy two, get one free. So these essentially were only $4 a piece and they're six by eight, which I like that size because I don't have to cut them now because six by eight fold it and that's the size of my journal. So that it's perfect. Okay. These are some of the bigger pads, the 12 by 12. So I can get two journal pages out of one sheet, which I like. And this is just a floral book but it again it's double-sided and it kind of made me mad I looked through and I'm like hey they jipped me they there's a page completely torn in it which oh well 
okay, so there's that. This one I absolutely love, love, love. Um, it's called Dream Chaser. And the colors are just so vibrant. There's some gold foil. I love the teals. Stay wild, moon child. Thought that was cute. But look at how pretty that is. And then the cover, oh, and these I love because these I cut out and I put these on the front of my paper journals that I do. Um, so I have sayings that I can glue right down and, and decorate the front of my journals with these pages, which I have a good time with. But the page that I am in love with the most, that's going to be the cover. Oops, stuff is falling around me is this. I must be a geometric person because I love I love this and I love the colors. So this is going to be the cover for my my new three month bullet journal that um, I'm going to put together. And this book was not cheap. It was 20 bucks. But in my mind worth it because there's I don't know how many 36 sheets and I'll get two um, I get 72 pages, journal pages from this one book, which is more than more than a, a quarter's worth. So anyway, so there's that. And then because I wanted to try doing some fabric covers on some of these journals, I promise I'm still gonna do card making. I'm just kind of in a journal mood right now. So these were 60% off at, at Joanne Fabrics. And I just got a, a random, I thought these were fun to make journal covers out of. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these journals I make, but it makes me happy, so I'm going to keep doing it. Then for my own bullet journal adventure, um, I wanted some pens that were just for my journaling. So the key things I was looking for was a basic black and then red and um, green for sure. Uh, because I, things that I prioritize, I do a red exclamation mark next to it and I color it in red. Um, and then things that are lesser priority are more of a green. But anyway, other than that, I wanted to have just a basic set of markers that I could keep in my purse for my bullet journal. And then to keep them out of my purse, I found this thing, which I thought was super cute. And it was also on sale. And it's just a, it's a pen holder. So... All these guys are going to go ah, right in here, like so. Closes up fine. In fact, I'm even going to put in a pencil because I do a lot of journaling in pencil too. And this is just going to stay in my purse with my journal. In fact, I'll probably throw the journal right there through it so that it will be more of incentive for me to use my new journal and keep myself on track. Okay, last thing, this is really boring. I got some Elmer's glue for my book binding and these brushes. This was a $2 pack on sale or on clearance, I think. And they're just really cheap brushes that I'm gonna use to dip in the glue to seal the bindings with on my journals. So that's my craft haul. I won't be doing any spending for a while. My husband comes home tonight, so I'll be be back on um, budget mode. But this will obviously keep me busy for quite some time. And I hope to have a bullet journal tutorial for you soon. If you're interested, please let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing how I put together my bullet journal and customize it. Um, and yeah. Hope you like this video. I will see you the next time. Thanks guys, bye.